the Supreme King Jaden has joined up with BTS, BTS Breakthrough Skill with Evil Heroes. Let's go. Just do it. Here I go. Do it. I summon a monster Quiet. attack position. Oh, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. You have to attack. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Yes. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. This is the deck list to get a full in-depth explanation of how the evil heroes work. Make sure you watch my other evil hero video, but a very quick breakdown is we have to play at least 10 evil heroes, including the dark fusion and the dark calling. You discard an evil hero to grab a dark fusion or dark calling. The dark calling will allow you to summon the ear evil hero malicious fiend by using your hand or graveyard. Otherwise, the Dark Fusion will use your hand or fields to summon the Malicious Fiend, and with the Dark Fusion, it will make it untargetable the turn it is summoned. This will force your opponent to attack into it, including put their defense position monsters into attack positions. So it's been a, a very long stream, and they can skip their battle phase if they want to, but we're gonna focus on breakthrough skill, and if this is good, what this do, it will while set on your field, you activate it to negate an opponent's monster, not stopping their attack, just negating them for the full turn. You could use it on your turn or their turn, but then once it's in your graveyard, you could activate it again, not during your opponent's turn, but during your turn and not the turn it is sent to the graveyard to banish it and negate a monster again. So is this a good card? Is this pay to win? Is it like Book of Moon? I will say it's a pretty good card, but it is nowhere near the power of Book of Moon. One of the great benefits of Book of Moon is you play it with Treacherous. Treacherous requires no traps in your graveyard to activate, so Book of Moon with Treacherous, it's like there's no downside. And now you can play Treacherous with Breakthrough Skill. So if you really like Treacherous, that's when Breakthrough Skill is better than other traps because it banishes itself from the graveyard to make use of Treacherous. Another good use of the breakthrough skill is because you could banish it from the graveyard, that's a second card activation, which could trigger the Cyber Slash Harpy to return a monster on the field. So double Cyber Slash Harpy effect, that could be pretty good. Does your deck mill? Well, milling a breakthrough skill could be a pretty good play, even though you cannot use it the turn it is sent to the graveyard. Charge Light Brigade, mill the breakthrough skill, then use it next turn to negate any of your opponent's monsters. The card breakthrough skill is most similar to is Forbidden Chalice, which is another card that could be used alongside Treacherous. What's great about this card is if they have a Photon Strike Bouncer or a turn one monster that's stopping you from making plays, you use Chalice. But the problem with breakthrough skill is you're not gonna be able to use it on your very first turn. You're gonna have to set it, but you do then get the double benefit of stopping a card. And then if they were to make a cyber slash or a bouncer, then on your turn, you could banish it to negate it. So you can go through your turn. So if you're going to use the double benefit, which is basically like a plus one, otherwise you may just wanna use chalice. So it's a situational card, great with Treacherous, great with Cyber Slash Harpy, great for double negating, great for milling, and it's a pretty good card. Why am I playing three in this deck though? Is there some crazy synergy that you don't know about? No, it is just for me to review the card to optimally draw it. So I'm playing it at the max amount. If you play this card, you're very likely not gonna play it at three. And this deck would be better if I just dropped a breakthrough, dropped a breakthrough, put in double treacherous. It's not better than treacherous. It's good when used with treacherous. And that is it. Check out the gameplay of Evil Heroes. There will be some duels where I don't use breakthrough, but you will also see duels or a duel where I do use breakthrough. Let's go. Get Stratosin. Stratos, add a hero. And the hero we want to add is going to be another Stratos, maybe? Another Stratos. And then we will add. 
We're going to use the skill. Sinister Calling. Discard the Gainer. Special Summon the Big Boy. Get big. Malicious Edge. Perfect. Double BTS. All right, let's go. Evil Hero, Supreme King, Followers. I will look into that. Thank you. On Saw the Fire King. So we're going to negate that. It will be negated. Fields fell. New, new with the nine months officially having a child to me. And Blanco with the 14, two months of being a Gia. Appreciate it. Me ain't flaming on yet. Tie in with the free prime sub. Thank you. You're just going to end your turn. You're just going to end your turn. End it. And it triple BTS. My monster's effect activates. All right. I shall My monster's negate. I activate we good? We are good. I expected you to do that. My monster's effect activates. What? What? All right, I oh, you have a freaking another one? Where'd that come from? Activates. What the? Here's my set card. Negate. Activate a trap. What the heck do we do? We don't want to be negated. We set the breakthrough skill. We attack over the Arvata. We cannot run exceeds. Attack! I needed the other breakthrough skill for the Arvata negating us. Let's go. Destroy his field spell and he might not negate. We don't go off of maybe he won't. Pop pop. Yep. Why would he not negate? Are you out of your mind? Is that how you play Yu-Gi-Oh! off of maybes? From my hand, Tanky! Spell. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. All right. I summon a monster in attack position. Yes. 1900. How do we win this duel? How do we win this? Here we go. Stratos dead. He no longer can negate our Stratos. Do we let him wipe out the fields? Will he wipe out the fields? Prodigy. My my yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy. Here I go. Negates. My wipe out everything. I think that's a good deal, right? Deal or no deal? Deal! Sinister Calling. Add. The Dark Calling. Wait. Why? I don't have an... I don't have enough. I, I can't believe that I can't Malicious Edge with another freaking evil hero. I cannot believe this. This is so freaking trash, mate. Are you kidding me? Why? Why? Elemental heroes. You have no freaking plays with this deck. I activate my monster's effect. I activate my spell. Why does this deck suck so much? Konami. This is unacceptable. What the hell is this trash?
We need to put in more level six or higher fiends. What are good level six or higher fiends? What's good? What's good? What's even good? Time to battle. Battle. Attack! Malicious fiend! He probably would have had game. No, he's got the the fool. The veil. What the veil, mate? Level six fiends. What are good level six fiends? I was waiting for. My monster's effect activates. Now is the time. Fiend? Does it have to be level six? Or it could be level six or higher? Six? My monster's effect. Caius? I'm counting on you. Caius and Chaos Betrayer? We don't have Lion Darks for that. Six or higher? Oh my Jesus! Finish him. Let's go. You really I don't think we could do six or higher. I think I have to turn. just put in all the numbers. Can I do higher than minimum attack, minimum defense? Can I do minimum level? Minimum, minimum, minimum. Let's go. Focus, we gotta focus on the duel. We'll fix up the deck later. Negate. Negate. If he goes to battle phase, if he doesn't read my card, then we win. If he does not read, we win. He has to put the veil into attack and then we win. The veil goes into attack through my own effect. This is it, we actually win unless he rank four exceeds. Do not rank four exceed. Just do it. Here I go. Do it. I summon a monster Quiet. Attack position. Oh, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. You have to attack. Let's go. <laughs> Yes! Yes! We did it! He has to attack! Here we go. He cannot My not attack! Attacks. He has to attack! Let's go! You newly summoned monster! Now Must attack! Time. Must attack! Let's go! Nope! What are you doing? I saw you try to put him in defense, you fool! How dare you! You must attack! <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Yes! Back to Fortnite! Fool! Yes, this deck is the best! Sinister Calling. Bonish. Stratos. I think I maybe should stop fusion summoning on the first turn. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, the only effect of the fusion is on my opponent's turn. It does become untargetable the turn it is summoned. Let's go. Cutscene. What I would have to do is summon Stratos, search, do not activate the monster in the graveyard, just set BTS, Stratos, and then survive, and then do the dark fusion play. Hopefully this is enough. Hope. Hope. Cope. Choose cope. Choose cope. Oh, I think that's a negate. That's a big fat negate. Negate! No, you will not summon another magnet from the hand, you fool! He has to attack if he goes to battle phase. I, I keep thinking they gotta go. They don't have to go battle phase. I just, I, I like to pretend that the card's good, and he did enter the battle phase, so he does have to attack. <laughs> yes, yes, let's go, fool! Holy moly, Stratos! Destroy up to the number. Yes, yes, yes. We are flaming. Elemental hero Stratos. 
Pop the back row at once. Monsters effect. As if what? I have a warrior and a fiend. What the heck are you summoning? A fiend? Are you summoning a sphere, Karibo? What are you doing? This can't <laughs> he had a sphere, Karibo. <laughs> what? I gotta see. Was he summoning plasma? Plasma's a warrior. Oh, he targeted my fiend. What fiend does he play? We're gonna YouTube. Stick with me. Stick with me. <laughs> yeah. He was gonna summon a Sphere Karibo. He was gonna summon a freaking Sphere Karibo. There was nothing else he could summon. Let's go. No cope. No cope, we're good. Summon. Edge. Stratos search Stratos. Stratos. Very good. Mass change. Toggle on for legal cheating. If you're a master duel player, then this might be a master duel. If you're going from TCG to master duel, you need to learn this in duel links. Pass. No hourglass, so he has no quick plays. No book, no chalice, no MST. Dark Magical Circle. Okay, we could return it. We could return it in the end phase. Return it. Castle. We could fusion summon monsters that must be fusion summoned with the Dark Fusion with effects other than Dark Fusion once returned during damage calc. If your fiend battles a monster, you could send an evil hero from your deck or extra to gain equal to the level of the monster sent to the grave. What is this? Okay. I set this card face down. Yes. Double set. End phase. Mask of change. Here's my set card. I activate a quick play spell. Stratos. For blast. Come out. I blast. Reduce. And do we blast a back row right now? We blast the circle. If we blast this with priority, we could blast the circle on our turn anyway. Blast it. All right. Negates. 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 We could Stratos with priority. I mean, unless he activates that. If he doesn't draw phase it, it don't matter. We could chain to the Dark Magical Circle. All right. Got him. Got him. Blast him. Let's go. Let's go. Karma cut. On who? How dare you? My blast? My edge? The edge? No! I activate a quick play spell. Diane. Let's go. Join me. I special summon a monster. If he summons a dark magician monster from the hand, then we good. We good, we good. He got nothing. He got absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stratos, blow him away. Take out the fool. Wipe him out. It is the evil hero way. We are the Supreme King Jaden. Since you lost, do we get BTS the win? BTS. BTS. Thank you. 